So welcome back, Angelica. Yes, thank you, Phil. And you're here in London again at Union Chapel. Yes, one more time. And are you going to be performing the new album tonight, Agua de Luna? Yes, we are. It's been, uh, we've been already uh, on tour singing some of these new songs and it's been really fun because it's a new musical adventure. We are uh, exploring other areas, other ways, a little bit another style, so that's really fun. And also Agua de Luna um, has a lot of songs in Spanish, but also in English. Yeah, it's been lots of fun, so it'll be fun too. I hope. (laughs) And it's a real departure for Mirabai Sabre in that you made your own studio. Yeah, it is a a new cycle for us. Uh, We recorded in in this beautiful little cabin and, yeah, we dared to do our own production. Marcus spent a lot of hours there and that was, that feels really good. Now there's nine tracks to choose from. Where would you like to begin? Uh, you mean to talk about this one here? So that was one of the singles, You Are a Song? Uh, yeah, yes. It's one of the singles, it's a song uh, with lyrics, I wrote the lyrics and um, I don't know, it speaks about, uh, it tries to describe like the essence of of our being in in relationship to different elements, different things in life. Um, like tries to describe the soul being the wind or being the the night or a flower. And uh, and then and then it has the part where it talks, uh, open your hands if you want to be held. And just that phrase says so much already. Like we we all live such lives where it's all about ourselves and what we can achieve and our careers and our our savings and our money and our goals and often forget that um, we need to reach out to each other and really be more as uh, of a family than, than in our own little world. But for that, we need to open our hands to be held. Secret 
place where I take flight Between your folds I plant my dreams I see your face and it is me seen you for four years now your daughters look a lot more grown up but you you and Marcus look a lot younger <laughs> well that's nice that's a good compliment <laughs> but would you put that down to your daily practice um I don't really know uh we as you can imagine we have such a uh unstable life in a way we travel a lot and we change places a lot that we uh, do have daily things that we do to inspire ourselves, but it's not such a like a disciplined thing that we get to do every day for a, a certain amount of time. It's more like we always seek to be in connection with nature and to have little windows where we get to feel ourselves. But also, I guess the kids keeps, uh, keep us young, <laughs> being playful and be needing to be fresh for them a lot of the time, maybe. <laughs> now, last time we spoke, I think your daughters had just appeared on stage with you and they were keen to do it again. Mm -hmm. And I believe one of your daughters may join you this evening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lena has been liking to sing with us and that's really sweet because it's not that we force her on stage or anything. We just give them the possibility if they want and if they want they know all our songs by heart so we just put up a mic for them and they can just sing with us in some of the songs and Pema uh, has been joining us with dancing she's been doing a little dance performance but tonight I guess the stage has not really a lot of space for that so she might not do it tonight we'll see now, the other single that was released was El Rio from this album, mm -hmm. Agua de Luna. Yes. El Rio is a song in Spanish, and it's a song written to after an experience down a river. We did a river trip for five days down the canyon in Colorado. Uh, there you can really make long trips in nature, and it was this experience of just... Uh, giving yourself up to nature, to the nature forces. And so we went down the canyon and some days the wind blew like crazy. So we had to row like crazy. And other days the sun was shining and another day it was raining. And uh, if you go down the canyon, you can't get out until you're finished, until you're at the end of the canyon. So that's that you have to just trust and really connect with nature, which has an effect of just really cleansing the mind and the spirit and you come out up there like a newborn. And so this this song describes that journey and how the more we are clean from our daily worries and thoughts, the more we are more like the river and we recognize that the journey inside of us is the same like the river journey.
Now, I understand Marcus has described the album as both personal and universal. Yes. Um, well, always with our music, we feel, or with music in general, we feel it's a language that connects us all. It's been there since time immemorial, and, uh, and it's brought so much to people, so much in different ways. And, and I think, especially in this time of globalization, of where cultures and religions are kind of a bit opening or uh, just it's all becoming a, a bigger family of people and music certainly addresses that and and allows us to speak one language and then also by telling of our personal connections with or experiences with nature with each other if we really connect deeply to those experiences and then sing about them then then that's what we will reach in other people to connect in that way because we ultimately we all uh, are sharing a path and are sharing the same we just do it in different ways but it's the same now the third track on the album agua de luna you've based it on a mexican poet but i don't think i could pronounce it uh agua de luna is a song we wrote and it's um ah this one the gemos al menos yeah that's uh yeah that's from a mexican poet aztec he lived many many years ago and um like 500 years ago or so and he he was a poet and he used to his name is netzahualcoyotl and he used to write these poems that were uh very inspirational, mostly questioning why we are here, why we are here and what are we leaving behind us when we go. And many of his poems address that. And, and he is um, related to flower and song. There's a god in the Mexican culture that is the god of flowers and song. And um, and so he, he mentions that a lot in his poetry. Let's leave at least songs, let's leave at least um, flowers behind us when we go. Which, which brings us to the question um, of what uh, the choices we make in our everyday life. What are the traces we're leaving behind us with those choices? Uh, and it can it, it comes down to the simplest choices, even now that we are having all this uh, big manifestations of the youth Fridays for Future and all that um, regarding uh, global warming and stuff. It really comes down to our to every choice we make. What are we leaving behind? Every choice in in buying stuff, in consuming stuff, but also every choice in what we think and how we speak to others, and everything we do is like a seed we put deep in the earth, and this is what we will leave behind us. So it's really, really important to to remember that, and this song wants to remind us of that. Let's leave at least songs and flowers. <laughs> Menos cantos 
what resonated with me is that you use the recording from the audience in Costa Rica. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was really fun. Um, we practiced with them, and then Marcus had the beat in his in a in a earplug, and then we kind of directed the whole audience and and recorded them. And really, for the one part, it was because of the sound we wanted to have this big choir. But then the other thing is just to generate this family kind of feeling that we are here in this together and we and we are going to leave flowers and songs together. And and uh, yeah, this togetherness is a force that really is inspiring and sustaining to all of us. I also read that Malka said, where well, language stops, music begins. Mm-hmm. Yes, that is true. When we stop communicating from the head and just surrender to the songs of life, basically, of the songs of nature, of the songs of birds, of the song of our hearts, then, yeah, the movie changes. <laughs> now, I see Bogdan, the violinist, is with you tonight, but also Jamshid. I think he produced your live album. He did keyboards on this album. Yeah, he did some things... But he did um, piano, mostly, and some beautiful, beautiful pianos. Yeah. And you're in the UK this evening, and you go to Sweden next. Yes, we're going to the Yoga Mela, which is going to be the fourth time, I believe. And yeah, that's usually lots of fun, because we get to meet other artists like us. And yeah, the tribe there is a sweet tribe of people. And we need to feature the title track, Agua de Luna. Now, when I Google this, it came up as Moon Water. Uh, yeah, if you Google it, Agua de Luna, it'll come up as videos. We're uploading some videos about it. And um, yeah, Moon Water. It's a song about, um, it's a song that I was asked to write from the Dancers of the Moon, which are a group of women who get together every year in October and dance to the full moon for four nights, and they do lots of chanting with it. So a good friend of mine said, can you write a song for, for our dancing? And that's what came out. It's a little song dedicated to the water, but to the water at night. So the water at night often has this just magic, magic. If you hear the water and don't see it, it has a certain effect. And if you see the sparkles in the water of the moon, it has a deep effect. So, And it says, uh, moon water, wash my heart. Moon water, fill my eyes with stars.
Now, there's a few tracks on the album that refer to water. Is the reason for this? Yeah, we really had a vision of... Uh, I mean, we, we as, as many people, feel this need to address uh, consciousness for how we treat our precious elements, especially water. And um, so it kind of came together by chance, but also we were excited to, to address it directly. And, to, and, and we really feel as artists, rather than addressing it radically, like, uh, like, like the end of the world is coming because of global warming, we want to sing to the water and praise its beauty and praise what it gives us so that we maybe see it from that side and maybe from there can rise a consciousness to really take care of it. And taking care of it is, yeah, it can be as simple as never ever buying a plastic bottle again or or products uh, with little wrappers that end up in the water and then end up in the fish's mouths and so on and so forth. We all know that, but we don't seem to really grasp it. And so, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's more an intent to, to come to awaken that, but in a, in an inspiring way rather than, than, um, than a political way or something. Now, you've been part of the Spirit Voyage family for so long now, and I see that they're helping promote the album, but will you appear at any Satnam Fests this year or next? Not this year. We already were there in April. And next year, maybe, yes. Of course, we're connected to them. They're our family, they're our dear friends, and they own most of our music, so we have a deep, deep relationship with them, and it'll continue. And... We shall see how, more of in a creative, uh, interactive way. And yeah, it, it will continue. And which track would you like to leave the listeners with today? We could do Luz de la Mañana. I like that track. And what does that mean in English? That means uh, the morning uh, light, like the, the, the light at dawn, so to say. It's a little song that sings about the, 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 how a day begins, especially like right before sunrise, how it all just starts to awaken and slowly and, uh, and then how also the senses start to awaken after the night, which is the night is always a, a place where consciously or unconsciously we touch the darkness of our minds and our souls we kind of have a, have a little uh, touch with with our fears and our dark corners death maybe and then the morning and the sunrise bring rebirth and inspiration and freshness again so that's that's what that song is about thank you for being so generous with your time again thank you phil that was lovely and we look forward to the concert Wonderful. I'm happy you're here. Me 
mascotas de Rocío tiemblan con el viento como mis lágrimas y se van con el sol Los sentidos respiran.